collective loves. I could not wait. I could not wait. Okay, I could not wait. I got these in the mail. Okay, I got these off Amazon. Okay, I don't know if any other chair reader has them, but it says yes or no, when and how. I'm going to pull these at the end of the read. You guys, I took my dog for a walk today, right? She had a way of twisting. Okay, I don't know. Okay, let me just go ahead and admit. I was on my phone, fucking around. Okay. And bam. <laughs> Like, come on. So I can get those fixed. I don't know when I'm going to feel like sitting in the nail salon. I just don't know. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, collective, let's see what's going on in the energy. Okay. Somebody is definitely missing your absence. I mean, missing your, um, <laughs> somebody's definitely struggling in your absence, okay? This is someone you're not in communication with right now, all right? For some of you, you found out that someone was married. For some of you, you found out that someone was cheating on you, okay? For some of you, it's someone that owed you money. Oh, my gosh. Ew, why am I getting that? That's weird. So, we're about to see what the heck is going on here, okay? With this energy that's not speaking to you. Somebody is in so much deep regret collective over you, okay? They're in so much deep regret, all right? I bet you right now they wish they had these sticks, okay? I'm telling you right now because they be sitting there pulling them motherfuckers. Spirit, God, God, heaven, universe. What do we have for the collective? One more. What do we have for the collective? Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we, we need to let each other go, Okay? This is what the fuck they tell themselves in order to sleep better at night. We need to let each other go. You know, everything's great. You know, I'm doing fine. I'm doing... No, they're not. Okay? No, they're not. I'm about to see the emotion that they're feeling right now. I'm about to prove to you this person's not doing fine in your absence. They're not doing okay. All right? It's like calling out the, the roll call in the morning. You know, when you used to go to school and they call the attendance and you're nowhere to be seen. Have you ever had that... Oh, let me say something collected. Not every message is going to resonate with every single person, okay? Please understand not one size fits all on the channel. Thank you guys so much. Have you ever had that situation where you're in class and if you could go back and remember when you were younger and your best friend or your crush and you hear them calling off names and then when they finally call off that person's name that you're kind of hoping that's there, you don't hear them say nothing and you look back and the desk is empty? That feeling, that gut feeling that drops, and you're like wondering what's going on. What happened? That's the energy that I'm feeling. And no, I'm not. I'm not looking back at a desk right now and seeing something empty. In fact, I'm seeing my little fur baby on the floor here. Oh Lord, <laughs> Spirit, what's this energy that this person's feeling? With my collective's not being present in class. Okay, comforted. Comforted. Now, I feel like this person's actually like, okay, look, I've never experienced this intense connection before, okay? And this, is, this isn't this is over between us. I'm, I'm coming back for you. All right? I think this is what makes this person feel good, okay? It makes them feel comforted, all right? It makes them feel comforted in some way, shape, or form to where that they know that there's some possibility that maybe you're holding on to them, okay, what's under the deck, free, okay? They feel you as being free, and it kind of irritates them that you're free from them, okay? But the same sense, this person feels comfort by your absence because they feel like you guys are going to come back together. I've, I have I got an energy here, Spirit. Clarify comfort. I got this energy here where someone feels comforted by the absence right now because of the simple fact they know that when you guys come back together, you guys always, this connection is to always come back together. It's a shift. Apart, come back together. Apart, come back together. And then what's so like sometimes come back together when you guys do reunite, it's so exciting, okay? It's so exciting. Surprised. Do you see that? When you guys come back together, when you guys go up, come apart. So they're comforted by the fact that there could be a surprise energy where you pop up out of nowhere, you message or something. Collective, I don't feel you're gonna message this person. I don't wanna bubble their I don't wanna bust their bubble. Okay, I don't wanna do that. I'm not trying to be a mean person here. All right, but I, I don't feel like you're going to message this person. I think they're just on this wishful energy, hoping that you are going to bring back um, some type of love offer to them. Okay, and I think a lot of you are pretty much done with it. That's what I feel here. Okay. But I think this person says this, look, and especially with the comforted card, it looks like somebody's like cuddled up at night. They're holding a teddy bear. Maybe you gave this person a shirt. Maybe you left a shirt, a sweatshirt. 
uh, a sock, a keychain. It don't fucking matter. This person feels very, 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 very confident that you guys are going to come back together. You're going to end up hitting them up or something like that. They're comforted by your absence to know that you guys will reunite. And it makes them feel excited. You guys do it all the time. But I don't know why collective. I feel like that's not happening. Mm -mm. Spirit, what do we have here for the collective, please? They feel it. They feel it. It's like that, that energy when your stomach kind of drops. Your heart kind of drops into your fucking leg. Or something like that. Okay. Here we are with the nine of wands. Yeah. Like they still want to fight for this. They're still in this hoping energy that you guys are going to fight for this. That this is not over. This is not over. This is just, you know, uh, no, this is not what's happening. No, no, no. You know, uh, we're going to meet. We're going to get together again. The artist. Okay. And in this deck, the artist here is explaining somebody that has this mindset of hope. Okay. But in the same reality of it, um, of this card, when I read it, it also stated that this person needs to ground themselves. They need to ground themselves. Like this person's in this, I don't know. I feel like it's La La Land. Like they really feel like something's coming back together here. The high priestess in the reverse. Somebody failed to use their intuition. Somebody thought that this last time collective wasn't going to be the last time. They failed to listen to their higher self, their intuition, their gut. Okay, what it was telling them. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles. This person thinks and dreams about you guys being a family. Yep, Three of Swords. Okay, Three of Swords. This is going to be very heartbreaking for this person when they find out that you're not coming back. Collective. Okay, that's why they need to ground themselves. This person's really feeling a lot of pain from you not being around. And they're trying to, like, overflow their mindset with memories of you guys being together. Or things where you guys always did reunite. Where either you reached back out or they reached out to you out of nowhere, out of the blue. Okay, the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Now someone wants to come in with some type of clarity or some truth. They're hoping that you either come whisking in or that they come whisking in towards you. I feel like this person has a massive ego. Okay, and their energy is just like, you know, I'm comforted with the fact that we're going to reunite. It's going to happen. This person has great patience. I'll give them that. But the thing is, is that every day that goes by, this person's haunted by you not speaking to them. What's the overall energy spirit for this, uh, for this spread here? For the, the lonely. That's what I'm going to call this. The lonely. Yeah. Wow. We know that I... <laughs> collective... If you don't know, I double my deck sometimes. This deck is doubled. Look what two cards pulled out. The Seven of Cups, both. The overall energy for the reading. I'm telling you, somebody is in La La Land. Okay, collective. I guess period, point blank, okay? Um, Spirit, can I get like an energy in this with the Seven of Cups? This is where they're comforted is. Where they feel comfort, okay? This person dreams about you. And they fantasize. So me getting the seven of cups here twice collective, I feel this person fantasizes. They 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 daydream, okay, when they're at work during their normal day. And then at night when they go to sleep with this little whatever thing you've left behind. Some of you didn't leave nothing behind. Somebody just has a little teddy bear that they hold on to praying it was you, a pillow. Okay. I feel that they're they're in that energy when they go to sleep, okay? And then their energy. All right, the surprised energy in their sleep, in their dreams, they actually reunite with you. See the balloons? You see these two people about to hug? That's what I'm getting here. Okay, so clarifying the Seven of Cups here. All right, the second Seven of Cups when this person sleep, when they are daydreaming, they're disgusted. They're disgusted by their own actions. This person comes too, okay? comes to reality sometimes and they're disgusted by what they've done yeah five of cups i can't make this shit up they're like repulsed by their own actions but this person does like in the daytime they think about you so much and at night when they go to sleep they dream about you this person hopes to dream about you so you're the first thing that they think of when they go to sleep and the first thought when they wake up nine of wands they want to fight for this so damn bad okay we are definitely going to clarify of course all right, of course. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. An offer coming in. You bring in an offer to them. So, someone's used to this in and out. They're used to this. You guys have your arguments, you know, um, and then it's just back to... This person is deeply, deeply broken. Heartbroken, okay? They feel, they feel, your, they feel your, the loss of you. That's what I'm feeling here. 
the lonely, the loss. That's what I'm just feeling. It's like it's a, it's a heavy loss. Okay, let me tell you why. Because the energy that you exude when you're around this person, it feels like home. It feels like happiness. It feels like good times. But for many of you, like I said before, you either caught this person cheating or you found out they were married or in another connection. Or maybe they were just separated. Whatever have you. Okay? Whatever have you. Spirit, what's that nine of wands for the collective? Okay, we have the eight of wands in the reverse. Yes, they want to look. The eight of wands in the reverse. No communication. Clarifying the nine of wands in the upright. Okay, so if you see this, this person wants to fight for this. They still want to. They're not done. They're not done with you yet. They're like, this cannot be the end. We have the Eight of Wands and the reverse. They're not getting any communication from you. And I have to be honest, for many of you collective, you're not reaching out to this person. You're not going to. Somebody's massive-ass ego or massive-ass dream state that they keep sitting in, they're going to be sitting in that for a long time. And eventually, they're going to get fucking tired of it. Okay? <laughs> the artist spirit. The artist Okay, Queen of Cups in the reverse. They need to ground themselves. They keep assuming or in or they keep assuming or they keep dreaming or they keep fantasizing that you're gonna come back and nurture the cup and nurture them and baby them or something like that. I say baby because I see this comfort and energy with a thumb in the mouth. And it's not gonna happen that way. It could be done with the Cancer Pisces Scorpio, Aries Leo Sag energy. Okay. It's just like not gonna work like that. Somebody's disgusted in their own actions, yet they're in this big, big, terrible regret. I'm going to ask Spirit at the end, why won't this person just reach out to my collective? Because I just don't see you guys doing it. The Eight of Wands is right there in the reverse. But it's funny because, remember, in the Nine of Wands, there's Eight Wands right there next to him, right? This person. Well, they're holding on to that Ninth Wand. They're holding on to it, hoping for some type of... Um, fight to come through because they're ready to go to battle they're ready to go for this they're ready for this to come back but the eight of wands came out in the reverse like it's it's like they want to communicate so bad that's why they're standing next to those eight wands and they got that extra one can we talk again can we start this again and before you know it, it's going to go to the 10 it's going to get fucking tiring and i think a lot of you collective are understanding that more than what this person is high priestess in the reverse spirit please for the collective Two of Wands. Two of Wands. This person's indecisiveness. This person sitting here. Um, a lot of you, they had secrets going on, okay? Them not using your their intuition. Somebody knows that they should have told you the truth. Now they're standing there at the Two of Wands trying to decide which way to go. What do I do? Do I message or do I not? Hmm. Some secrets came out and it made you guys go toward the Two of Wands. You're making plans to go in another direction. They don't even know it. This person thinks you're coming back to heal this connection. You're going to come back, nurture it, baby it, water it, soil, whatever. Repot the plant. I don't know. But this person's going to be very disgusted in this Five of Cups energy. Somebody's even nauseated at times. Because this person doesn't stay in the dream state and stuff like that all the time. There's times when they have their bouts of crying. I don't know why I'm getting crying. Yeah, the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Spirit, what's this Ten of Pentacles for the Collective? Eight of Swords. They cannot stop thinking about you, Collective. They cannot stop thinking about you. This ain't no, um... This ain't no, um, you know, oh, well, we thought about the Ten of Pentacles. No, this is what they felt when they were around you, whether they told you that or not. They felt like you guys were stitched together like y'all were family. You made them happy. Now this person's in their head. Of course, that's no that that's no surprise, especially seeing two seven of cups here. That's no surprise. And the five of cups. Spirit, three of swords here for the collective. The hermit. The hermit energy here. They're doing inner reflecting. They're doing self. They're, they're like looking at self and seeing what did I do wrong? And I don't know why I come to this point to where this person just gets like revived again. To where they're like, we're going to have a new beginning. We're going to be great. I'm going to sit in hermit. I'm going to stay quiet. I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to ignore this person. Spirit, give me one for that hermit. They feel ghosted deep inside. They feel completely ghosted from you. They feel ghosted by you. Yeah, look. Knight of Swords. Okay. And then we have the pay, uh, the King of Swords. So this person was very cold to you. Very cold. This person does a lot of in and outs. Okay, very logical. This person probably never thought that they'd find a soulmate or that they didn't really exist or 
This person has been like this all their life. We have the Knight of Swords here twice. So whatever came out here collected with this High Priestess in the reverse, it was nothing fun. The Three of Swords is here. Then we have the Knight of Swords. Okay, the Knight of Swords and the King of Swords. That's five swords right here. They're playing themselves. They're sitting here. Look, think about it. Three of Swords, right? Knight of Swords, King of Swords. Five swords right here with this Hermit energy. They put themselves in this energy to where they actually isolate themselves from a lot of people. And they sit and they think and they come up with a plan to get you back. Thinking you're going to come back if they just stay quiet long enough. The full card try to come out. This person, is, they want to rush towards you. But they're like, no, nah, it's okay. They're going to come back. The collector's going to message me. They always do. I'm going to wait it out longer. Big mistake. Big mistake. Okay. Not of swords here, spirit, for the collective. Look, five, five of cups again. It's like this in and out energy. Like, not only are they in and out with the connection, okay, or you guys are both in and out with this situation, but they're in and out with their thoughts as well. They know the truth deep down, but they keep clo they keep cloaking it. You see that cloak on this person? I don't know why I'm getting this message. Some some of you collected this person cries, especially when it rains. Maybe you guys have something special in the rain. I'm not sure. Spirit, clarify that Eight of Swords there with the Ten of Pentacles. Yep. Look at this. The Nine of Pentacles. They're in their head about you being single, independent. Now look at this. This is the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Ten of Pentacles here with the Eight of Swords. That's going, that, you know, you would count down. But that doesn't mean that you collective are less than you're just independent doing the damn thing and you're starting to enjoy and love yourself i think you guys have had enough with this this situation i'm not gonna lie i think this person literally is obsessed with you i don't have to have the devil out here to see it they really truly are not grounded enough they're like in this energy where they're delusional with this queen of sword queen of cups in the reverse spirit give me something that queen of cups in the reverse with the artist two of swords okay you see exactly what this is. You know exactly what it is. You're not closed off to this situation. You made your decision. Okay? And they think that your decision hasn't been made yet. That the decision, of course, is going to be them. But the two of swords being the reverse and the two of wands in the upright. Two of swords in the reverse is thinking. I'm not thinking about it anymore. I'm not in two set two mindsets. I know what it is that I'm not going to do. And I'm not going to come nurture this person. I'm not going to come stroke their ego. I'm not going to pull their leg out of the sky because they need to be grounded. Believe it or not, Collective, you grounded this person. You made them feel like they were actually in something that was beautiful. The Ten of, the ten of Pentacles. And now this person's all in their head because now they see you in the Nine of Pentacles. Okay? We saw that Page of Pentacles a second ago. Now the Wands are of passion, action. Okay? I feel here that you took an action to just close that, this out. Look, the world in the hand, the globe. And you're going in another direction. Spirit, clarify that two of wands, please, for the collective. Exactly. You're going in another direction because you want true happiness. You want fulfillment. They see you as stable, loving, kind, nurturing. You're like home. You're like home in, a toast, in front of a toasty fire with food in the kitchen, smelling it throughout the house, warm ankle socks, just chilling out, relaxing. You have definitely went on about your way. Because you know that you are the Ten of Pentacles, honey. Wherever you go is where it goes. It's within you. It's not on you. It's not like somebody can rip your dress off and say, or your jeans and say, oh, took the Ten of Pentacles away. No, this is within you, collective. You are very, very smart. You're very intelligent, okay? People value you. You appreciate and value yourself. So whatever around you doesn't value you. I think you guys were entertaining this because you really want to see something come of this. But this connection here just kept breaking apart. It's like a separation, renewal. Separation, renewal. Separation, reunion. Separation, sexting. It's just weird. But I think you put an end to this. Two of cups just try to pop out. Now this person wants to come towards you with an offer. Spirit, what do we have here? The nine of cups on top of the five of cups. Okay, the Knight of Swords here being clarified by the Five of Cups. Somebody knows the truth. You know the truth, Collective. 
I feel that you're not really like in the King of Swords or Queen of Swords energy because you just basically are having a good time with yourself. You're clear on what the hell this is. This person's done this way too many times. Nine of Cups. Not only are you the Nine of Pentacles, but the Nine of Cups. And guess what? You are the Ten of Pentacles, and guess what? You're going towards your Ten of Cups, wherever that may be. But now you're sitting in your Nine, and that makes somebody very fucking sad. Could we deal with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? Okay, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the bottom of the deck, Ace of Wands. You have your Ace of Wands. This is where this person is delusional. The Seven of Cups and the Seven of Cups. They should be disgusted because they're going to be very, very much nauseated when they find out that you're not, they're, you, they're going to be the ones in regret. You're going to be on your, on your brand new merry way with your Ace of Wands. It's not an Ace of Wands that you're sharing with this person. Okay, period, point blank. Spirit, give me something for that disgusted energy in the Five of Cups. Look at this collective. I can't make it up. Three of Swords. Okay, the Three of Swords is over here. It's twice. And then we have the Six of Pentacles. Now somebody's in this hurting energy. Now they're disgusted. They're feeling nauseated or whatnot. Now they want to come and do an equal give and take. Somebody wants to like, you know, I give, you give. You know, they just need that one message. They need that to come through. But this Eight of Wands is in the reverse. Spirit, clarify the Eight of Wands in the reverse. The star, you're healing. That's why you're not speaking to this person. Will of Fortune at the bottom of the deck. Things are changing. They're used to this in and out energy. They're used to you guys splitting, splitting up, coming back together. Splitting up, come back together. Oh, wow. I just literally heard you really truly don't know what you have until it's gone. And this person doesn't even know, collective, that you're gone. You're, you're not coming back. Yeah. Things are changing now that you put an ending to the situation. Three of Cups. You're celebrating yourself, okay? This Nine of Pentacles right here don't look like they have anything to play with. They look very happy, okay? Now, there might be some of you that are still grieving the situation. And yes, that is okay, Collective. There's no problem with that. But I think your healing journey is requiring you not to say anything to this person. Because you already know what's going to happen if you reach out to them. Nine of Wands. They're going to be right there standing and they're going to pretend or kind of just play, you know, tipsy, you know, footsie and stuff. No, I, you know, and they act nonchalant. It's just, it's a pattern and you're tired. That's the energy I'm getting. And they're tired too. They're tired too. They just didn't think that you'd get sick and tired and walk the hell away. Spirit, ten of cups here with the two of wands for the collective. Yep. Like I said, they just didn't know you'd leave. Temperance at the bottom of the deck. You're aligning with what it, you're supposed... You're, you're, you're in alignment. And you're being patient with yourself while you're going through this transition. Okay? I, I get the strong feeling that someone here is very much in denial. The wonder why the Seven of Cups came out twice. For many of you, this person's like, I've never experienced this intense connection before. This isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. They're going to come back for you or whatnot. And of course, Collective, you can take this person back. You may do so. Just because the cycle closes doesn't mean a new one can reopen. But I feel like Spirit's having you heal. And then as you heal, okay, and as you become more aligned with your angels, with your guides, with your purpose... The longer you're going to just like be, this is going to look grotesque, grotesque to you. You're not going to like this. So they can sit back all day long being comforted, having the dreams of being surprised. You showed up, you reunited again, you know, and it feels so good, you know, <laughs> reunited because we understood. Whatever the hell the songs they be playing and shit, they really do pump themselves up to believe that you're going to come back to this. Being stuck to something that's just basically toxic. Breaking up to make up. Separating to get back together. Jumping in bed. Sexting. Um, send me send me a snap and all that shit. No. We got the angel and the devil. I think you're going with the angel. Because the star is here. With the, six, with the eight of wands in the reverse. You know your worth. You know your worth. Empress energy. And guess what? You're not going to trade that in for nothing. You've been here way too many times. It doesn't matter if this person did it or if you did something. Okay? The backstabbing, the betrayal is just done. We're done with the betrayals. We're done with it. Yeah, done with it. Like being chained to this. You know? And there might have been some times where this person did have it their way. Okay? And you'd reach out. Nothing wrong with that. But it's like now it's like basically getting old. And this person's like, you know, I'm comforted at the fact that I get to go to sleep. And I know I'll be surprised and my dreams will reunite. 
and then I know that when I wake up I can just keep remember I can keep going back to the memories when we once did reunite every time something would go wrong spirit give me something for that surprise card give me something please for the surprise card yep queen of wands sex hot okay excitement confident they're very confident by this spirit comforted king of swords they're stale We've got the king of swords over here too they're stale cold energy they're comforted that you will come running after them you seek their validation you're not doing it anymore it's just not being done anymore yeah seven of swords it's like you snuck out if you see there's two people here one person's like on guard or whatever the hell and this person's like I'm getting the fuck up out this bit. Like, you know? And it's not like that's what you were doing, but I mean, honestly, I mean, this the spirit, clear it. Clarify the two, seven of cups here. 14 cups? I mean, what can you do with that? Okay, seven during the day, seven when I go to sleep. Okay. Yeah, look, the will of fortune at the bottom of the deck. Things are changing, collective. Things are changing. Seven of wands. This person wants you to dream of them. They want to telepathically connect with you in the dream state, okay? They're hoping that you feel this vibe and things too. I truly feel like you're on this beautiful healing journey and you're blocking it out. There's three sevens here, okay? Two seven of cups and one seven of wands. Three sevens. Seven might be very significant, but clarifying the five of cups, we got the uh, three of swords. Clarifying the three of swords over here, we got the hermit. This person's used to like these disappearing acts, whether you do it or they do it, you guys always come back together and connect. Well, they didn't see that this was going to change. Yep. They didn't see that this was going to change. They didn't think that would ever happen. So we have the will of fortune, the three of pentacles, and the seven of swords. Okay. They didn't think it would change to where you would actually find your soul tribe or just find your uh, guides working with you to make the move that need to be made and you cut connection. You're not going to, You're many of you, I collective, I really honestly feel you're not going to reach out to this person. They're going to have to get the guts, the gall, whatever they're doing here and get out of that cold, stifling energy. Spirit, clarify that king of swords. Because they, they really think their coldness is sexy. They really think their coldness is going to bring you to them. Okay, so King of Swords, Spirit, please clarify the King of Swords. That's too many. I'll take that first one. Bottom of the deck, Ten of Cups. Ten of Cups is here twice. Your Ten of Cups is different from the type of Ten of Cups that they want. Tower. That coldness is it's not it. It's not it. And of course, collective, we can't force someone to open up and be warm to us. But this person has ran out of time. This back and forth game, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, to be, but to be honest, this person should have thought before they fucking did the moves they made. I, I'm just going to be honest. And I want to feel sorry for them, but there's a way, like, you can't feel sorry for someone that wants to, like, keep you in your head. Nine of Swords with the Ten of Cups. Are they my true happiness? Is this person over here that's, you know, cold towards me? Are they my happiness? Are we ever going to be happy? Are they ever going to show emotions? Are they ever going to show they truly, truly care about me? I think that you know your clarity. Ace of Swords. And now you're moving forward. You're moving forward. Four, four of Swords. Put, laying it to rest. I'm not saying you're not heartbroken, Collective. But I can say that you're really ready to take that leap of faith in another direction. Okay? Some of you can be with a fixed sign, a Scorpio, a Leo, a Taurus, or an Aquarius. Everything's here. We have Virgo here with the Hermit. We have um, Scorpio here with the Tower. Clarifying the King of Swords Tower. They're about to have a Tower moment. And Collective, please don't blame yourselves. Please don't. This healing journey that you're on, how they're doing, they're delusional. Your absence makes them comforted because for the simple fact, they feel like they're going to be so surprised or you're going to be so surprised to like see that they didn't message or they'll be surprised that you have a message and it makes it, it gives them an adrenaline that you guys can connect again. But honestly, it's toxic and I feel like you're aligning with what it is that you're meant to go for, which is true happiness. No games, no games being tolerated. You don't want to deal with it. You don't. You don't. Mm. They're comfortable with your absence. That's what's, that's fucking crazy. 
I mean, it's not crazy, but you know, that they're comforted for a reason because you always come back. That's it. They know. Just got to sit, be patient, be my cold self, and they're going to come running back. Leave the past behind is the card that came out. Mm, mm, mm. Look at you walking. Walking away to greener pastures. No joke. So wherever this person's at is a bit cold. And they think this shit's cute. And you about to show them. <laughs> nah, bruh. Nah, sis. The reason why I'm not speaking, the reason why I'm not reaching out, is not because I'm waiting for you to reach out. It's because I'm actually healing. This person's just, they're just standing there ready to fight for this again. That's what it is. Claytha, that's been your message. Oh, let's do the yes or no's. Will you and this person get back together? Maybe that's what you're asking. Whatever question you're asking, okay? Give me five seconds, babe, because I don't want to take up too much time. All right, now pull one of these out, okay, babe? So, collective, you thought of your question? Let go. Mm -hmm. Okay, babes. We have the yes or no. Yes. Knock, knock. Good luck is at your door, and it is willing to help you find control over the situation to clarify the unclear. Stagnation and failure vanish, and the prov profitable door opens wide for a rich and beautiful life. Back of how, when, and how. We have the rolling chimes for the bell of success accelerates the situation. Changes for a better life are coming, thanks to you, but it might take six months for you to notice the results. Your tower of tolerance, your tower of tolerance with an exponential, an exponential, an ex, exceptional, <laughs> sorry guys, exceptional ability to handle almost any situation. So maybe about six months from now, the answer is yes, whatever you asked, okay? Six months from now. Okay, babes? All right, collective. Thank you so much for joining the Small Tarot. Thank you for the like, share, subscribes. I love you. 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 Okay? Um, to the moon and back, y'all. Take care of yourself. Know your value and keep your worth. Bye-bye.